Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by. We've got another beer review tonight. This is going to be a semi-special beer. Uh, it's special to me because uh, I've been to the brewery and I've always had a weird like love for the state of Maine. Uh, this is going to be Lunch from Maine Beer. Uh, Lunch is a West Coast IPA brewed on the East Coast. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, Maine beer is out of Freeport, Maine. Uh, yeah, my, uh, my grandfather lived in Maine for a while while he was doing, um, like seminary stuff. Um, so I've always like seen pictures from like, uh, the Portland headlight and all this stuff. And I've just always loved Maine. And I finally got to go there a few years ago and, uh, going to the brewery was an awesome experience. It was just such a laid back this cool, cool brewery, and uh, picked up some bottles to go, and um, enjoyed them when I got back. But uh, we've recently, somehow, started getting their distribution uh, in Tennessee and North Georgia. So um, today I was out at a store and decided I would pick it up because I haven't had it in quite a while, and uh, this beer is special. Um, I've been on like a kind of like a West Coast kick for the last uh, month or so, and. Um, it's kind of just been what I've been craving, so I thought this would be a good beer to pick up, do for a review for the channel. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so this is called Lunch. Uh, this is their IPA. It comes in at 7%. Uh, this one was bottled on April 28th, so we're like almost two months old. Um, should be fine. They do put a 90-day, uh, they say drink, within 90 days. Um, lunch, though, is... Um, it's based on a well that they've spotted off the coast of Maine uh, since like 1982, and there's a chunk taken out of her that said it looks like a. They say it looks like a shark had taken a chunk out of her. So um, they dedicated this beer to uh, that well, and uh, they say to keep swimming for her. So um, cool, cool thing. Um, and they always have the motto of the um, where is that. They do 1% for the planet. Uh, I guess they give back to like other organizations that help for, um, you know, preservation type stuff for uh, marine life and other, you know, outdoors and, and, and environmental stuff. Um, sorry, I've been kind of rambling about this one. Uh, they always have the do what's right. Yeah, at the bottom of the beer there. So um, let's go ahead and get this in the glass. I'm excited to have this one again. It has been quite, quite a while. Maybe two years or, or a year, maybe. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, West Coast, man. Just coming back to it after drinking hazies for so long. It's something so nice about it. And uh, that is a beautiful beer. It's got a nice little, might be a chill haze, but it's got a little bit of a haze on it, actually. Um, comes in like a deep gold color. Uh, a little more than a finger ahead there. White head. Uh, Super small bubbles on the bottom, and then it gets really rocky up top. Um, we'll see if we'll get any uh, lacing. Yeah, we might get some some nice lacing on there, some sticky lacing. Um, yeah, this is an awesome beer. Uh, I, I can't wait. To, I want to go back to the brewery really bad, but uh, this will have to do for now. So let's shove our nose in it. Yeah, uh, classic West Coast. Um, you get like a bready malt character. Get a nice caramel sweetness on there with a light citrus note, um, grapefruit, orange, and then it's got a nice pininess to it, resinous, a little bit of dankness in there, maybe a little bit of a tropical thing going on. So, it smells fantastic, guys. Um, let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Oh, yeah. It just brings you back, man. It brings you back to those West Coast days when this was, like, the big deal, man. This was, like, Maine beer was, like, hype. I mean, they were a hype brewery. Um, you know, they, they still are with certain beers. You know, they do dinner uh, and second dinner, which are their double IPAs, and people go crazy over them. I still haven't had dinner or second dinner. So, hey, if you're watching this video... Um, you want to hook a brother up? Let me know. <laughs> We'd love to try both of those beers. But, um, 
Yeah, it's it's it, you know it's classic West Coast. Citrusy, dry, very dry. It's like bone dry. Citrusy though, got a nice pininess in there. Nice little bit of a sweetness though from that caramel malt. And I've said in the past, <clears throat> caramel malt with the hops almost to me adds like a candied uh, fruit type flavor to it. So I always like that. Medium mouthfeel. Eh. I'd say light to medium mouthfeel. It's got a nice bitterness um, in there. Uh, kind of lets you know that, hey, this is a West Coast IPA. We're not, you know, playing around with that. So it's not like overly bitter, though, but it does have a nice presence in there that kind of lets you know that this is West Coast. Yeah, you get orange. That pine character is pretty big in the um, on the palate. A little bit bigger than it is on the aroma, honestly. You get a little bit of that tropical thing, like a pineapple or... Uh, something like that. So, guys, this is a fantastic beer. I'm really glad that I picked it up, and I'm glad we get their beers uh, around town because uh, they're just they do what's right. Uh, hence the uh, thing on their label there. But uh, they do they just stick to what's good, and they stick to what they want to do. Uh, you know, they haven't really came around to like the new new school haze. They don't can. You know, they keep them in these. Uh, I guess they're 750 milliliter bottles. Um, and I just love it, like the simplicity of it, you know, just the white label. Uh, and then it gives you the info in the back. I, I don't know what it is, but I just love their brewery. I love the stuff that they do. And uh, I can't wait to get back up there. Um, fantastic place. Maine is awesome. If you haven't been there, go check it out. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, guys, I'll stop rambling. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you've had this beer and what you thought of it. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next one. So uh, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.